So the ninth step of a scientific um, project is to write a research paper and an abstract. Now a research paper for younger grades can simply be just a typewritten version of your speech that we'll talk about next. Um, however, for, um, for older kids you should add the research that you did, add all your data, all your um, charts, and make it a really complete um, explanation of your whole project so that somebody could find out what you did, what you learned, and what kind of things you would do again if you, if you were to study it again. So for your research paper, um, you should have references, you should have, um, uh, you should have an introduction, a um, table of contents, and you should have um, all your aspects of your whole project described to that, just like a normal research paper. Now for an abstract, an abstract is a really short uh, summary and you, you have to put specific details into that. Now instructions on how to do a, an abstract paper um, are a little more complicated than putting it on the, the video. So at the end of this video I will have a reference to a website where you can look at some examples of abstracts. Abstract is just a certain number of words, sometimes 150, 200, 250 words and you have to specifically put um, what you were studying and what you learned in that short period, in that short word. So it's a, it's a um, you may need help with this from a teacher in order to summarize your project into an abstract.